Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we have, for the 4th of October, something a little bit different. We've got a teaser image, a nice little little silhouette of a new Orc vehicle, what will no doubt be revealed sooner rather than later. This one, I believe I know what this is. <laughs> it's getting a bit like Christmas, actually, at the moment now. With the way they're doing these October releases, it's like it's getting very it's getting very like Anna Partridge in a pear tree on the fourth day of October Games Workshop gave to me a silhouette of an orc buggy. That was not good. That was terrible. I don't know why I said that out loud. I may well edit that out of the video. No, it's staying in. Why not? So what we have here is, as pointed out, a silhouette of an orc buggy. Now the thing is, we're kind of cheating, because this is a competition, right? This is something that the Warhammer community team have done, whereby if the community guesses what this is, and goes to the Warhammer 40,000 Facebook page to cast their vote on what this is, if enough people get it, they will reveal the vehicle. Now, I feel like there's a good chance of rigging this, largely because a while ago, I did that video about what we can expect from a new Orc Codex, and in it was listed a bunch of vehicles. Now, <laughs> of those vehicles, we now know what five of them look like. We've got the War Boss on on a War Trike, we've got the Shock Jump Dragster, the Custom Booster Blaster, the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, the Mega Track Scrapjet, which this means that this most likely is the Rucker Truck Squig Buggy. Now, the Rucker Truck Squig Buggy, if the information that I was given is correct, and let's face it, it probably is because everything else that came out from that source was absolutely spot on in every way. It was dead on. They did, well, they, they just gave me quality information. Um, this would be a, a Squig-based vehicle, like a Squig platform, that launches Squigs and also lays mines. That is most likely what this is. Now, it could be that there are other vehicles on the way that I didn't get told about, which would be awesome. I would love that. I'm not holding my hopes out, but because, that, like, a, a six new vehicles is, I think, actually not bad for, for any faction, really. I mean, what did the Primaris get for vehicles? They got a Land Raider slash floating Rhino that is a fire magnet and a Dreadnought, which is, I guess, technically a vehicle. Didn't really get anything else, did they? Oh, that massive Forge World thing. The Orcs have had like a proper nice like line refresh, some brand new stuff. And six is probably I wouldn't have guessed they would get six. So I'm I'm suggesting six is probably what we're gonna get when it comes to new vehicles for the Orcs. This is most likely the Rucker Truck Squig Buggy, but of course we can have a quick look and see what the options are for voting to decide whether that is the case. After all, there could be some options there that discount this. No. <laughs> so it is a is it a weaponized food truck, a squig based weapons platform, or a high speed landmine delivery system? Now this is where I think they're being they're being uh like a bit a bit a bit devious a bit cunning if you will it's all three <laughs> isn't it because <laughs> let's be honest the orcs like a bit of squig they eat a bit of squig um it also could quite easily throw squigs at people and lay landmines that is exactly what i was told that uh, the rug truck squig, bu squig buggy would be. So you have three options, all of which are correct, so I don't feel bad for suggesting you go and vote so we'll get the, the answer to this. Because I think all three of those are correct, and as such, it's literally just a chance to take the piss and go, you got it, because there is literally no way you couldn't get it. I'm really excited to see what this actually looks like, though. To be honest, I had no idea really what the what something like that would look like, um, it's one of those things where, admittedly, you can't really guess what any of the others look like. Although, like, the Dragster and the Mega Track Scrapjet, I kind of had a vague idea that it would be a jet engine with wheels on it. The Dragster, I kind of had a vague idea it looked like some sort of drag vehicle. The other two, admittedly, it's difficult to really make a judgment on what those could be. But this, especially, like, a squig-launching landmine-laying buggy was one of those things where I was like, what the hell is this even going to look like? I really want to see the actual image for this now because it looks, just the silhouette looks, it just looks cool. It looks like a proper sort of, 
like a mad off-road what is that thing? Is it the Dakar Rally where they go like across the desert and shit? It looks it looks like something from that. I really can't wait to see this and see what it actually looks like because they've been absolutely nailing it with every vehicle so far. I've loved every single one they've put out. I'm just excited for this. This is, I'll be honest, this is just like an excessively long video at this point. It's stupid. It's just like a blacked out picture of, uh, of the vehicle, but I'm rambling because it looks so good. Um, so I'll stop. I'm pretty sure this is the Rooker Truck Squig Buggy. I'd be amazed if it wasn't. It does all three of the options provided for voting, and I can't wait to see it revealed. Oh, also, sorry about the voice. I'm like, I'm really ill, <laughs> like really ill today. I should be asleep, but you know, there's orc shit to gush over. So, why would you not do that? Um, thank you very much for watching. Go over to the Warhammer Forty Thousand Facebook page. Cast your vote as to which of the three options that it definitely is. It is. That was a weird sentence. And uh, I will see you. Oh, click all the stuff as well. Click all of that usual click all of that stuff if you want don't click if you don't want to and uh, i will see you for the next one toodaloo